What if the death of Marilyn Monroe, one of the most iconic figures of the 20th century, was not as it seemed? What if it was a setup? As we delve into the life and mystery surrounding Marilyn Monroe, we begin with her humble beginnings. Born as Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926, in the city of Angels, Los Angeles, California, her life was anything but angelic. Her childhood was a tumultuous one, fraught with the instability of her mother's mental health. This led to a life in and out of foster homes and orphanages, a stark contrast to the glamour and glitz she would later come to embody. But even in these early years, a spark of something special was evident. From a troubled childhood to the radiant spotlight of Hollywood, Monroe's life was a roller coaster of highs and lows. As we continue to unravel her story, we'll see just how much the highs soared and how deep the lows plunged. Monroe didn't just emerge as a star, she fought her way up, carving a path that would forever change Hollywood. Born Norma Jean Mortensen, she was signed to her first contract with 20th Century Fox in 1946, setting the stage for a career that would become the stuff of legend. Her breakthrough came in 1953 with the film Niagara, a role that showcased her magnetism and charisma. But it was her performances in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and How to Marry a Millionaire that truly solidified her status as a Hollywood icon. Monroe's allure was irresistible, her talent undeniable. Yet Monroe was more than just a pretty face. She was a shrewd businesswoman who took control of her career in a time when few actresses did. In 1955, she founded Marilyn Monroe Productions, asserting her power and independence in an industry that often sought to control her. Despite her professional success, her personal life was fraught with struggles. On August 5, 1962, the world woke up to the shocking news. Marilyn Monroe was found dead in her home, an apparent suicide. The Hollywood icon, who had captivated the globe with her beauty and talent, was discovered lifeless in the early hours of the morning. Her death was attributed to a barbiturate overdose, a conclusion drawn from the empty pill bottles littering her bedside table. The coroner's report ruled it a probable suicide, yet from the onset, this explanation was beleaguered by doubt. Theories began to circulate, casting a shadow over her tragic end. Some whispered of the Kennedys' involvement, hinting at a romantic entanglement turned deadly. Others pointed fingers at the Mafia, suggesting they had a vendetta against the starlet. These conjectures, though unproven, added layers of intrigue to an already perplexing scenario. But the question remains, was Monroe's death truly a suicide, or was it a carefully orchestrated cover-up? In the wake of her death, a myriad of conspiracy theories began to emerge, each more intriguing than the last. The most notorious of these suggests a government cover-up, with whispers of Monroe's supposed knowledge of classified information. Some theorize that her close relationships with high-ranking officials made her privy to secrets that she wasn't meant to know, and this ultimately led to her demise. But concrete evidence supporting these theories is scant at best, a fact that only adds fuel to the fire of speculation. The official account of her death, too, isn't without its inconsistencies. The delayed police response, the missing diary, the lack of a definitive suicide note, all these elements cast a shadow of doubt over the accepted narrative. While the truth about Monroe's death may never be fully known, it remains an enduring mystery that continues to captivate the world.